today I want to focus on, first anyways, getting ourselves some villagers. So I'm pretty sure that witches are exactly two blocks tall, like illagers. Which means if we block her path with a trapdoor, she shouldn't be able to walk under it. But should be able to just like squish her little head right up there and stare at us and try to attack us. And witches have ranged attacks, which makes all of this perfect. So we're gonna need to make this quick to navigate these guys where I want them and out. Whoa, okay. All right, but can we talk about what a success this mob spawner has been? I have literally made one like standard mob spawner in my entire time playing Minecraft, which to be fair, is not a very long time. So I was not sure how well this was going to work and I thought I'd have to make a bunch of adjustments to it and everything, but no, it actually has been fantastic. Okay, I think they should be in reasonable positions at this point. So now what let's do is, let's go make ourselves a couple fence gates. That's a drowned. <gasps> Are we getting drowned upstairs? At least small baby drowned? <gasps> Going for a swim? Kill a drowned. So I think some of our baby zombies are probably converting up in the up in the mob spawner. Just popping up here to see what's going on. And one, we really need to be able to flow more water through. That's the big thing that we need. Um, but I think what's happening is we're probably getting a baby zombie in like these little spots. And that means their eye line. Oh, here comes a witch. That means their eye line is like underneath the water. <laughs> There's the witch. Okay. Okay. So then we want to pop up here. Go bam, bam, bam. And now we take out everybody who's not the witch. And my plan is I'm not going to put her in a boat. I'm just going to open up the thing and let her run after me. All right, let's do this. Hello, my dear. <laughs> All right, let's poke under here. There she is. All right, let's go, let's go. I'm shaking. Okay. That wasn't weakness. That one was slowness. That one's poison. Jeez. I don't, oh, I can die. Oh, that's problematic. I wonder if I can like stack myself a little bit of a wall, if she would be able to hit me. Oh yeah, she can still hit me with things. Oh, so the weakness potion, glad I looked at the wiki. The weakness potion only gets thrown if you're three blocks away. Okay, so we have to be quick about this, but if we get like right here, she might throw. Nope, 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 okay. All right, weakness potion. Weakness potion. You did this to yourself, my dear. All right, weakness potion. There it is. Is that it? That's it. Okay, we gotta. Oh no! Oh, that was so close too. Some of my stuff definitely fell off the edge there. Here's hoping my apples didn't though. Like if we can grab those apples, we should be good. Oh, my stuff scattered everywhere, my gosh. All right, let me, oh, good golly. I swear if my apples ended up in the, oh, they were so very close to being in the void. That was, that was close. Oh, and my carrots are gone. Oh, she despawned. Wah! Okay, she is coming out hot. My goodness. And she's in the boat, excellent. So that means she won't despawn on us anymore. That's helpful. Weakness, boom and boom. Oh, only one of them got it? Oh, that's problematic. But one of them, one of them has got, we have a villager. What I'm worried about is that those two might be a little close enough together for the one who's still a zombie to re-zombify the other one. We don't wanna do that. Oh, there's one. Please tell me he can't be reached by the zombie. Oh, good. He's just 
far enough. Oh no. Oh no. Please throw a weakness at me. Thank you. He didn't get it. Okay, we're gonna heal up and then take the villager away so we can bring the other zombie in closer. Okay, let's try this again. I'm worried about just how close I am to the zombie. Super close. Okay, we've got poison. We've got that, which was harming, but... There's the weakness. Got him! Yes! Okay. Now we need to get rid of the witch. All right, she's gone. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! There's a creeper there. Okay, okay, we gotta leave, we gotta leave, we gotta leave. Oh my gosh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, absolutely not. I didn't close it up. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I didn't close. No, they're gonna be zombies after my villagers. Okay, okay, they can't get out anymore. Now I just have to clear out everybody who's like out and about. Okay. Whoa, jeez. Okay, there's a lot of, please tell me my zombies or my villagers didn't get zombified. Oh, they're gonna... Okay, that villager managed to be okay. So, maybe? All right, and that's all closed up. And that guy's okay. Okay, good, everyone's all right. Oh, that was a disaster. All right, well, that's that. At this point, we need a place to house these guys. You know what we haven't done yet is some late night one blocking. We gotta do some of that. It is called one block after all. All right, the sun's coming up and I think with all the dirt we got in the night, we have enough to make a good little auto breeder with. So it's perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to make our first door on this series. All right, here is our very tiny little auto breeder. I just realized we need something to put in front of this door. But we should be able to drop our couple of villagers in there now. Let me place that one down. Oh, he already sparkled. All right, and then we really carefully just... Choop. All right, come on, buddy. Oh, there is our Enderman. Sir, you're allowed to walk up the stairs. Come on. It's just staring at it. Do not jump off the edge, I swear to God. Excellent. Be so careful, dude. It's about to fall off the edge there. And then let's see if he'll just pathfind to the ones up there. Oh, you're so perfect. You're so perfect. Okay. One down, one to go. Wish me luck. And head up. Oh, you guys are so good at this. We got them, folks. We have villagers. By the way, when you guys see this, it will probably be Christmas. And what better day for some cozy one blocking? Anyways, Merry Christmas to all of you. Ooh, it sounds like we've got another friend. Hello, sir. What have you got for us? Ooh, ice. Ice is nice. Spore blossom is nice. We have to get the spore blossom. Oh, they'll bring a cat. We should be getting cats soon. See, pumpkin seeds. I don't need pumpkin seeds. I do need melon seeds. Can I, like, can I order that specifically? Some melon seeds? Let's go grab a little bit of iron. Hello. All right. Iron 
for a spore blossom. Yes, please. I really want more spore blossoms, not gonna lie. Let's see, how much iron do I have? Do can I can I spare some? I'm gonna get an iron farm going soonish. Once once we get those guys and maybe a couple of guys with trades up, we will go ahead and put an iron farm out there. We have nine ancient debris. That means that we have enough for like two netherite things now. All right, let's see how these dudes are doing. Oh, one of them does have the farmer. Um, and I feel like actually I should go ahead and just like roll his trades if, until I get a carrot trade. That would be helpful. Hey, yeah, that's a wheat trade, which is great and all, but like carrots are definitely easier. Oh, I should grab a hoe. Alrighty, two spore blossoms because, you know, I got it. And some ice. We'll put the rest of our iron in there. What was I grabbing? I was grabbing a hoe. Now, here's the thing, is he does have marking as a novice. Let's try trading this dude up. He really likes these corners, doesn't he? All right, let's see if he upgrades. He's sparkling like he did. Oh, he just reduces his prices. Well, that sucks. But now we know. All right, well. Now that these guys are kind of set up, let's turn our attention to these fine friends. So let's go ahead and start off with a place for some cows. And I think if we go bees, chickens, cows, pigs, sheep, or something along those lines, I think that's what we want to do. Bees are actually going to be pretty important. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's a spawning area. Bees are going to be pretty important because we want to use honeycomb in our build. Like right now, the only yellow we have is the bamboo. And like the bamboo blocks are great, but I really want that like bright yellow. There is one constant in this series, and it is that I make mistakes every single time I lay out a circle. All right, there we go. And it almost touches this island, which is actually kind of perfect because... I originally wanted to do the bees on this island. Let's move on to our chickens for the moment until we get some glass for that structure. All right, we got just the itty bittiest house for our chickens. Come on, friends. There you go. Fantastic. Very good little chickens. Good. Good morning, fine sirs. Ooh, pumpkin trade and apples. Okay, okay. Maybe it's time to get a pumpkin farm going, you think? Now it's time to get ourselves a cow pen. And I think we are going to do a little bit more water wrangling. Carefully, geez. We're actually going to keep it on a top slab level. I don't really care how for how the fences especially look when they're floating. So, top slabs it is. But that, mean, that means we need to be really careful about lighting things up. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I don't think I had anything like super irreplaceable on me, but... Oh dear! I was so sure I was crouched there. I literally just switched it to toggle. You know, I considered doing this hardcore. I've never done anything hardcore before. I'm really glad I didn't. While we're waiting for our trees to grow, I don't even know how much bone meal I've put into that one at this point. Ridiculous thing. Anyways, I think next episode we'll start turning our attention towards our farming island um, because we need things like a moss farm and a cobble generator and um, I want to put the fishing pond in the middle so that we can have access to like a bunch of different kinds of enchantments. I definitely want to get Silk Touch next episode, whether it's from a villager or fishing. But I really want to be able to um, pick up the different kinds of Nylium that we have showing up here. All right. Hey, piggies. 
Hey guys, come on. Come on, all of you. Stop crowding each other, you ridiculous things. No, I don't want the cow leaving the pen. No, come on. I have carrots, come on guys. Oh, for goodness sake. You really only have singular brain cells, don't you? All right, we're gonna have the same problem over here, aren't we? Yep, there it is. I don't know what to do with you. This is ridiculous. Come on, one at a time, one at a time. It's not that hard. Pigs are one of my favorite Minecraft mobs. Like, look at their little faces. But oh my gosh, they are certainly one of the dumber ones. You know, in hindsight, I definitely should have kept the villager with that wheat and potato trade because I'm not really using those as crops. But I have them, and I'm eating carrots all the time. All right, you cows, are you all ready? Oh, we're gonna do the same thing, huh? All right, come on. Oh my gosh, and I'm out of my axes. There we go. All right, Operation Cows for Leather has commenced. Now then, the question is, where are we on Operation Villager Children? That's a child! <gasps> It's a child, there's a child in there. <gasps> Excellent. Ah, he has already tried to stage an escape. Yeah, you're stuck there, buddy. Well, I suppose this is a good place to leave it for the day. We've accomplished so much. We got ourselves villagers and died about a billion times in the process. And yes, this little gentleman has also joined the growing family. And we got all of our animals moved to more permanent homes. And we even got ourselves some spore blossoms. Priorities, you know. I'm obsessed with how our little world is turning out here. We've been making what feels like exponential progress every episode. And I think that we're nearing the end of phase one in our one block. Who knows what adventures are waiting for us, but I'm sure they're full of plenty of death. Thanks for coming along today, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a like and consider subscribing. I will see you all for the next one. Merry Christmas. Bye. <laughs>